What up troopers? Are you looking to add a new helmet to your collection? If so, I got you. In this video, I'm gonna break down the Samoilovart Phase 2 helmet. Uh, this is the Revenge of the Sith version, and I've got a bunch of helmets, and so I'm really excited to dive into this one. This one is battle-tested. I did my entire cadet 30-day series, train like a cadet trooper in this helmet, so I've spent some time in it. Uh, it's been beat up, and it still looks and still feels great. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a few things. One is gonna be the things that I like about Smoilovart, why I wanted to buy this helmet. This isn't a paid or sponsored video at all. These are just my thoughts on the process of getting the product. Then it's gonna be the product details and a few nitty gritty things uh, about the actual helmet. And then finally, I'll cover additional considerations, things like price, other competitors, and things to think about when you're choosing your helmet. So the thing I really like about Smoilovart is they sell their helmets in waves. They're not just always pumping out new promotions, new products, and stuff's always available. They do a batch, take a break, make more, and then they're like, all right, another wave is coming out. I find that a little bit more fun as a consumer because you actually have to like wait. And some people might find that annoying, but I find that kind of fun where it's like, all right, Everything's dropping, I gotta get in, I gotta buy the thing that I want because there's only a limited amount available. And I think that's a really cool thing too is you can't just be the one of a thousand people with the helmet. There's only so many you know, special variations of maybe like a Commander Thorn or a Phase One Captain Rex that only so many people have gotten because they do it in this wave approach. And so what's really cool about that is that the helmets feel bespoke. It feels like you're the one person that has this helmet that was handcrafted for you. And it's really cool too because there's more options for clone trooper helmets. They have variations of phase one, phase two, hundreds of different clone trooper variant helmets, and they just prioritize that. They're not doing gaming, they're not doing Darth Vader helmets, it's just clone troopers. And so you know the people behind the product just love the Clone Wars and love Clone Troopers, which I think is really cool. So from a material standpoint, you're looking at a resin cast. The price is not gonna be included in the custom fees unless you're in an EU country. I'm in the US, so there's a little bit more of a fee to get it sent all the way over to Seattle. Expect one to two weeks for preparing your helmet for delivery, and then VXB is gonna be where they ship with, or the company that they ship with rather, four to seven weeks for that. And then the size of the helmets, you're looking at 62 centimeters or 24 and a half inches roughly in diameter. All helmets are for adults, and they can be pretty big for adolescents or people with smaller heads. And if you take a look on the inside, you'll see that there's just a little bit of styrofoam added, but the rest is just the exposed helmet. All right, so a few additional considerations. One is obviously gonna be the price. That's gonna be the thing that a lot of people look at. This is 220, plus you're gonna have shipping, uh, so it ends up being a little bit more in like the 250, 275 range. And then right here, I've got a Cybercraft helmet. These ones are gonna be a good amount more. This is anywhere from 300 to 400, depending on the style that you get. But I will say that this one is a little bit narrower compared to this one. So this one looks, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one is a little bit wider than this one. This one's a little bit narrower. The inside of the Cybercraft ones have foam. So that could be a pro or a con. This makes it hotter if you're wearing it. But for someone like me who's doing workouts, which is honestly no one else on YouTube, I actually needed this. So I had to double beanie working out in this one. I had to just single beanie or just regular head with this one. So having that extra foam can be a pro, can be a con, depending on what it is that you're looking for. Um, but these are definitely a little bit more affordable than Cybercraft. And if you're 3D printing your own or if you're getting one for maybe like a black series, just know that the quality might be down a little bit more. I mean, especially if you're like 3D printing it versus someone like Samuel Lavar who makes their own so often, like the quality is definitely here. Uh, it's just at a price point that I think is a nice in the middle between like a Cybercraft or a Duo Novo and something that might be something that you make at home or some that you get from the Black Series. Thanks for watching this review. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. Drop them down below in the comments. If you like the channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Obviously, you're gonna see a ton of workouts and clone trooper helmets and different characters. That's the main part of this, is about health and fitness and Star Wars and the conjunction between the two. But I'll definitely always do product reviews of different helmets, lightsabers, cosplay that I'm doing. That's a part of the overall uh, brand that I'm working on creating with this channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Paul Klingen, AKA CT3939. I'll catch you next time on the Trooper Transmission.